Well, this goes back to, uh, you know, we were at a charity event, me and Tito, and he, we did, they asked us if we'd do a stare down photo. And I actually told him, you know, I'm gonna post something, I'm gonna post this picture, okay? No problem. Um, my wife posted it, put, uh, why not, in a question mark. You know, had a few, a few laughs, had a lot of comments, a lot of stuff, no big deal. But then Tito starts talk, running his mouth. Um, we're like, uh, and so we, we send him back a response, make fun of him a little bit, and it got it started. But, and that, that's what kind of got the, the ball rolling. Uh, but it's one of those things like I, I wasn't finished. You know, when I, when I, I left the sport, I, you know, I just changed my training. I, trained, I was doing things different. Uh, I was starting to get, uh, improve everything. Everything was getting better. And I just kind of ran into that. I made, made a couple mistakes in that fight and, and kind of got pushed out. So uh, I wasn't finished. And this got me started. I, you know, it got me thinking, you know, I, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get back in shape. I'm going to see how it feels. And, and then I, I saw all this stuff online about people, people telling me I couldn't. You're too old. Stay retired. You, you know, and that's the last thing you should do to me. Don't tell me I can't do anything. Um, I can do anything I put my mind to. I, I, if, if I need to do, if I want to do something, I'll work, I'll work my butt off and I'll get it done. Um, so, you know, it, it was one of those things where people, I, I, I just, got motivated to get started. It got me, it got me going, got me training, got me working again, getting back in shape. I started feeling like I was getting back in shape. And then he kept coming back and, you know, it went, we went back and forth a little more and, you know, the, the opportunity with Golden Boy came up. And, I, you know, I took this as a chance for me to get back doing what I love and and get back to, and, and proving people wrong. I, I've always, I proved, I've been told I couldn't do any do stuff my whole life. And I was, this is my chance to prove to people that I can, I can still do this. If I, if I put my mind, mind to it, no matter, you know, I, I've had injuries, I've had, you know, setbacks, training and stuff, but I just put one foot in front of the other. And I keep moving forward and, I, and I'm here. It's, it's first day of uh, tra training camp. I'm, I'm pretty much down to weight. I'm in great shape. Everything's firing great. I can't wait for this fight to happen. I get the feeling that you really don't like Tito. Look, I, you know, people always ask me, and you hate Tito? No, I don't hate him. I don't, I don't, like, I don't care enough about him to hate him. But I don't like him. I don't, I don't like the person he is. I don't like the way he treats people. Um, you know, I don't like the way... You know, he, he, I, I've heard stories my whole, since, since we fought, you know, about all the things that he's done to people, how, uh, you know, I, screwing over training partners, screwing over business partners, you know, it's the way he treats people, it's just, it, he's got, he's got no class. I mean, I uh, saw him at the, at the press conference, you know, talking while I'm trying to talk, it, that's, it's, it's classless. I mean, he's trying, if he's trying to sell a fight, great, but that's not it, that it that's not it. He's, this is the way he really is. That's the way he carries himself throughout his life. It's, you know, some guys like a Chael Sonnen. They're just, you know, he's selling a fight. He's out there doing a WWE kind of thing. Tito is Tito. That, that's not an act. He's an ass. You know, um, I, I, I couldn't, I'm a man of principle. Uh, I, I, I can't even fathom like being friends with a guy like him because he's the type of guy I can't, I despise. I don't like guys that carry themselves this way and I, I just don't like the guy. And, and I would think that there are some guys that you fought who you do respect and like. Oh, there's plenty of guys. Almost every guy I fought, I respect or like. There's guys that beat me and guys I've beaten that, I, that I'm still friends with and I, and I, I respect them a lot. He's not one of them, I for understand. sure. I well, I mean, it goes all the way back to, you know, he says, I, you know, if you talk to Tito, 
I, we were, he, he took me off the street, taught me how to fight, fed me, and then I turned on him and, 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 and went to fight him. If, in reality, I mean, in the real world, um, I came down to help him a few times and it's, as a sparring partner. And when it came time to fight me, he, he dodged me. I mean, he says I was the one that, that turned on him. When I beat Vitor Belfort, he jumped in the ring after I beat Vitor Belfort and said he was gonna kick my ass after he was done with Ken Shamrock. And then that night, I knocked out Babalu with a head kick. And then he beat Ken Shamrock and they asked him, so are you ready to fight Chuck Liddell? And he's like, um, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe, um, uh, you know, some other time, you know, it, it was, we might have to fight in pride, uh, and then all, all of a sudden he wasn't interested in fighting me anymore. Well, that's understandable because you knocked him out twice, but now does he think you're washed up? You know, I, I think it's the funniest thing in the world, is Tito is trying to sell that I'm washed up and that's why he can beat me. But he wants to beat me to vindicate the two losses before. So why are you trying to sell that I'm washed up? You know, even if you feel I'm washed up and that's the reason you can beat me, why are you trying to sell that? Because now you're basically just selling it, saying you can beat a washed up Chuck, but you can't beat uh, a Chuck that isn't washed up. And I'm very sorry to say, Tito, I'm not washed up. You're gonna find out. Tell me how your lifestyle has changed from now to your first career. You know, my, my lifestyle has changed completely. You know, I changed the people around me and the environment around me. Um, everybody's working towards the same goal. Um, I, I've, got, I've got my family, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with them all the time. Um, actually, for this camp, I'm stepping away, getting, get, going back to being away, get, get, getting my attention just on this fight. I'm actually gonna be down here in Huntington, at Tito's home down high, um, to, uh, to get prepared for this fight. And I'm gonna take that out, of, missing my kids, but I'm gonna take that out on him on November 24th. Uh, during these eight years, did you miss, did you miss the game? I've missed the game. Every, I get asked the question, when, when I, after I retired, I got asked the question all the time. Man, you can't miss getting ready for fights. You can't miss this, you can't miss that. I said, you know what? I could never think of one thing about fighting I didn't miss. I miss everything about it. I, I like training. I, li I like going to the gym every day. I like uh, cutting weight, getting ready for a fight. Because to me, that means when I make weight, I get to fight the next day. And I love walking out of the ring, and I love fighting. I what love trying to. What? What do you expect to weigh from this fight? I'll, I'll walk. I'll walk in the ring about 215, 216. We're weighing in at 206. Uh, by the time we, I'll be walking around in the morning, waking up in the morning about 2.13, 2, 2.14. I'll walk into the ring about 16, 17 probably. Tell me about your kids. Oh, my kids are, are my biggest motivation. I, I'm actually, that's one of the reasons I am doing this. I, I, wanna sh I want the kids to see the guy that became a world champion. Not the guy sit, resting on his laurels, laying around, you know, taking it easy. And you know, I, I really, until I started training, getting back into, into shape, I didn't really realize that how I, the choices I'd started making were, uh, I can take it easy here, I can take it easy there. And I don't like living that way. I, I've been more energized, more alive since I started training for this fight than I have in, in the last eight years. I, I want them to see that. I want them to see that, that, that in this way. I want them to see me work and the work ethic I have how hard I work, how, 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 and the results you get from doing that. Uh, part of your lifestyle change is people say age brings wisdom. Do you think that that's happened to you? Yes, I mean, I, definitely. I, with, with age comes wisdom. And, you know, looking back, I, I had a lot of time to reflect on, on uh, eight years to reflect on my career and, some of the choices I made in the past, and you know, they weren't always the best. And you know, you got caught. And I lived a life in the moment. I was never, never accused of not living my life. I had a great life, and I had a lot of fun. But you know, I, uh, I, you know. Anyway, I, you know, I had a lot of fun, but it was, you know, not the best 
environment for fighting. It's not getting prepared for fights. I mean, I'm, I'm showing up to camp right now in shape, eating better than I've ate for years. And to everyone, what everyone's saying, I look better than I did 10 years ago. Uh, you know, I'm 48 years old and I look better than I did when I was fighting at 38. So um, that is a testament to the life I'm living now. The way I'm living my life now as opposed to how I was then. you credit your wife for some of that? I definitely credit my wife for a lot of that. She, she uh, you know, I was, I was twisting, you know, making a lot of bad choices right after I retired. And, you know, she pulled me out of that. And, and she, she's been there for me ever since. And, and she pushes me, makes me want to be better and makes me want to improve. It's hard, it's hard to have someone. She, she has a hard position. She's one of the only people that can tell me what to do or tell me. She's the only one willing to tell me what I do wrong. You know, like most people are, oh yeah, you're doing great. Like, uh, you know, they don't want to tell me what I'm doing wrong. She has no fear of telling me what I'm doing wrong. But she, she's the best. She, she's uh, really helped me in. She's always trying to work on things that, that help and improve and make me better. That China you had, did your wife give you that China? Oh, uh, I, I, wish, I wish she did. It would have, that was now. <laughs> My, I didn't give up my wife. One of my training partners poked me in eye, but it's okay. You know, it is what it is. It happens. We were actually just drilling. We weren't even sparring, believe it or not. And I'm like, well, you guys, I'll, I'll fight. No, we were drilling. It was just a wrestling thing, and I got a, I got, caught, a, caught a thing in the eye. It is what it is. How many, now that you're really getting intense in your training, how many hours a day do you think you'll be spending training and thinking about this guy? Okay. Okay, here, here's the difference. Um, training and thinking, I like that you said that. Um, you know, like if you talk to Tito, I, I remember back in the day when I was training with him, I was one of his training partners, I remember reading an article, he said he was training eight hours a day, six days a week, I think he said. And I'm like, um, when? Because I was sitting here, I'm sitting here on your couch um, watching this and uh, I saw you run for about 30 minutes in the morning, and then we have a, we had a wrestling workout and a striking workout. I mean, I would have given that about a two and a half hours, maybe, unless you count stretching, maybe three hours total, if you if you count stretching. But where where are the other five? Where were, are you counting driving to and from the gym, talking to people when you're there? So, I, I train now about about two and a half, three hours a day, uh, about five days a week. Um, I have an active I have an active I have an active rest day and a. And uh, and uh, and I also have a, a rest day, um, but the most important part about about the day, and it becomes more important as you become as you become older, um, is recovery. And you know, it was it was important back in the day when when you're younger too. It's important. Remember, athletes, recovery is almost as important, if not as important, as the workout. We, as when you're younger, you can get away with not doing it, but you would be better if you did it. So remember to do the recovery. And I spend more time, I probably spend more as much time doing recovery now as I do working out. So we probably about, I'd say two and a half hours of recovery a day, plus two and a half hours of, uh, of working out. So you're about five hours a day. And if you're talking about thinking about the fight, um, I'm working on that all the time. You work out here in the gym, in the cage. You're going to go to recovery, right? I go from here. I go. I go straight from here to recovery, and then we got another workout later. Uh, I'll have another workout later tonight, and after that, I go straight to recovery at home.